Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. It's a Sunday, and it's about 10 a.m., 10.20. Uh, Goodwill's open at 11, and I'm super excited to go up there for today. We didn't go yesterday because uh, my family was over, which was so nice. It was so nice seeing them. Um, but it's nice to go out to the thrift store. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. To the thrift stores today to kind of unwind a little bit from, like, a really busy busy hectic week and but it was like all really productive and really great uh, but now let's go thrifting um, but don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell button to be notified because not all the stores I'm going to be visiting today are going to be popping up um, in this vlog but with that being said let's head out and see what we can find got to our first stop of the day this good will right here so let's go inside check it out hey we have a bunch of these guys today this is only $7.99 hot dog these are really cute. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's like a Note Pro. But they have like these um, phone holder things. Which I'm looking for a new one because mine, like the stickiness of it is like not up to par anymore. Alright, let's look through the handbag first. There's that like broken looking bag. And then we have like a Chloe looking bag right there. But... Oh, this is cool. This looks like Versace. Caprice design, made in USA. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, is this Celine Dion? <laughs> Well, I'm pretty much through the handbags already and haven't seen anything too exciting. Mostly Target bags and Liz Claiborne and stuff like that. So, let's go check out the rest of the store and see if we can spot anything else. What is this? Uh, Seska. This looks just like a Chloe. I'm looking for a backpack too for Kate to see if I can find anything cool for him because he just beat up his backpack that he currently has. Like, that thing is busted. <laughs> I don't know what he does to those backpacks, but let's see if we can find him a cool one. There's like a carpet over there, but look at this. This fun globe. Replogle. I feel like a lot of the um, globes I see I buy Replogle. I'm even saying that correctly. But there's a cool one right over there. Oh. Now this one's really nice. It has a stand and everything. It's like a marble wooden thing. It's kind of cool. It's $3.99. It's broken right there on the corner though. Also that metal table is actually kind of interesting too. And look at this like a wicker mirror. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, this is like so epic, the frame is like so cool, <laughs> it's $10, how awesome is that, Ooh. oh my gosh you guys look at this mirror, look at how cool this mirror is, hey these chairs are only 10 bucks, I think these are from Target, they're like a faux leather, how cool is that, there's five black ones and the one red. Alright, so I just found the Chef Man digital air fryer that they have here. It's originally like 80 bucks. And here it is 40. I guess half off is a pretty good deal, but I don't know. I was thinking about getting one for my aunt. What do you guys think? Let's open it up. Alright, I'm looking through like the plates. Seeing if there's anything interesting. I haven't really turned up anything yet. I'm still deciding on the fryer. I text mom about it, so we'll see what she says. So in the meantime, I'm just looking through the rest of this stuff to see. Oh my gosh, we used to have these. We got them from Costco. And we sent them to the Philippines like a while ago. Oh man, I remember those plates. Comment down below if you guys have those. I know a lot of people have like those, tar those Costco plates. I always see them as a good one. All right, 
down to the mug section. You know, I'm looking for uh, anthropology mug that has the letter N on it because that's the one I'm missing. That coach mug is still here. That was here a little bit ago. Last time I was in this location. Our... Oh, I love the Philippines. There's a panda. They're starting to bring out the Christmas stuff. They cleared out the Halloween stuff. There's very little left. I know it went on sale like earlier in the week. And I asked, and it's no longer 50% off, which is kind of a bummer. But it's okay, there's not very much left. Now I'm in like the tchotchke and the um, vases. Oh, it looks like there was actual dirt in there. Where is this from? Originally, I can't even see how much it was originally. But it's like, I can't believe I stuck my head in there. It's like full of dirt. Oh man. But I love an interesting vase. So, seeing if there's anything cool, I feel like a giant Hello Kitty piggy bank. I don't know if that's like a dove. No, it kind of looks like a pigeon, right? A pigeon. This is what they have on the new racks that they just brought out. Some curling irons. There's like a Opal House flat sheet from Target. Some peace sign string LED lights. Oh, sewing string. Some Thanksgiving looking pillows on oh, no, Alice a Witch. So right now I'm looking at the shoes, but I'm not spotting anything really too exciting. I kind of like those, like the embossing or embroidery. Embossing embroidery on them. They're Forever 21. We got these. They kind of look like um, hood. Is it, is it the, Rih the Rihanna? shoes are the Rihanna shoes look like that or did I just make that up I don't know I might have made that up but um, <laughs> just looking through the shoes sometimes they have some good ones here I think I've picked up a couple pretty interesting ones from here before I've gotten some Prada shoes I think some Gucci's um, and some cool men's shoes too so See, but I'll like I'll report back to you guys if I find anything cool. But I'm kind of just oh, and also a couple of you guys have like commented on like the music and how you know like um when they play the music and then the store like the video gets like flagged. Like I mean that just happens especially when you're live or like vlogging inside the store and you just like share monetization or you lose monetization on the videos. So that's just pretty much what happens. Um or like you share like the monetization with whoever um has licensing for the music. So yeah, that's what that is. Like that's why when you guys like hear the mu like the music in the video, still like that's what happens to them. So what are these? I like the print on them. All right, guys, let's go to another store. I didn't really get too much here, so let's see if we can find anything else at the store. Let's take down the street. All right, guys, here we are. Let's go inside. Okay, they moved their handbags to the other side of the store, like right by the front. Like, there's the outside right there, through those windows. Uh, but, they also seem to have consolidated everything, so it's quicker to see stuff. But, alas, haven't spotted anything yet. Bradley. The brand is just Bradley. Access. I think this is a vintage Juicy Couture. Let's check out the inside. Oh, it is a vintage Juicy, $6.99. I love metallic bags, but like a lot of the time the metallic starts to rub off. So I think I'm gonna leave that. 
All right, that's it. Let's check out the rest of the store. I'm in the furniture section. Nightstand. Oh my gosh, I love my spin mop thing. It's the best. Ooh, $12.99 for that. I have like the white one, like that I have a set of four. I'm looking for more. Maybe I'll find some more eventually. Check out these backpacks. Still looking for a new one for K. Didn't really spot anything. Oh, uh, they have these Star Wars ones, but oh, uh, they're like all a little damaged. Kid is so hard on his backpack. Man, you know, kids. Sometimes they just go crazy. And their backpacks just like suffer completely. This is your Bradley. Ooh, timber. Let's see. Don't think so. Otherwise, it would stay on the zipper pull. Got a Puma lunch pail. Oh, one of these clear umbrellas. Oh, these <laughs> swim things are pretty fun. These are only $1.99. They're so much cheaper here. Good thing I didn't get them last time. I think I'm gonna get them this time though for the kids. Oh, look at this little chalkboard. Looks like kinda cute. Oh, the owl lamps. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Let's check out the tchotchke section. Ooh, an apple peeler from Pampered Chef. $7.99. It's like one of those like rotating ones or something. Oh, butter. This is so cute. It's like so tiny and fancy with a little thing that says butter on it. Oh, that's a pig from Moana. <laughs> That looks like Mushu from Mulan. All right, mug section. Oh my gosh, an A. <laughs> All right, at least we have one anthropology mug down. One down, 99 cents. Um, doesn't look to be in too bad of shape, just a little dirty. It needs, needs a little bit of a washing. So I'll take that, let's see if we can find any. Is that a? Oh, why did I think that was like an In-N-Out mug? Like it looks very In-N-Out-ish, but it's, but it's not. Oh, this is Pottery Barn. Yep, Pottery Barn, this is the Emma mug in green but I only collect the Emma mugs and the white and the yellow should I should I switch no I think once I have yellow and white collected then maybe I'll move over to do the green stuff but I haven't really found like too many green Emma pottery barn plates or mugs so I think I will just hold off for the time being and complete my other collections. So that way I like won't go too crazy finding and buying stuff. You know how that is. You start going nuts finding things. These are thresholds. Bow cup. This looks like someone made that one. Okay, I think that is it in the mug. Let's look at the plates. See what plates we can find. Okay, so you guys see that drink dispenser? It's, I think it's recycled glass, so it's kind of like a greenish tint. Um, Mom's kind of been looking for one in that shape and silhouette, but I don't know if it's like a little greenish. So I don't know if she wants it, and it's twenty dollars too. So I'll have to check with Mom and see what she thinks about that. It's pottery barn. All right, I sent mom a photo of that. Let's see what she thinks about that drink dispenser. Oh my gosh, it's like a lettuce leaf. $1.99. Okay, the vases. All right, you guys, I just got to our next location. We are at the Costa Mesa Crossroads store. Let's go inside and check it out. Hey guys, this is Rebecca Minkoff. Super cute, it's half off. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. Let's see what other goodies you can 
spot here. This is a Pour La Victoire. 1850. What a cute little crossbody. This is a Danny. Yes, 55. Whoa, got a jumper. The Sea Bike Chloe and a Michael Kors tote. You guys, I got some goodies. I can't wait to share with you guys what I ended up getting. But now let's go to another store. All right, you guys, we're at the next crossroad. This is in Huntington Beach. Okay, you guys, there's this a Michael Kors. This one's $37.50. This one's kind of cute. This one's a maybe for sure. Adrian Vitadini, Roxbury. This is actually a nice leather. Kai Paterka? Never heard of that. There's a mat and net. Oh, got a jumper. How fun this Mark by Mark Jacobs is. It's like metallic y and like awesome. It's like a little crossbody bag, which is super fun. Oh, and look at the beautiful purple, this Mark by Mark. The corners leave a little something to be desired, and it looks like you got some nail polish on it. And 24 is actually not a bad price. Oh, there's this Kate Spade. Sounds like vintagey looking. You guys, look at this Rebecca Minkoff. The floral motif is beautiful. $42.50. This metallic coach for $32. This is vintage green coach crossbody for $37. Tommy Bahama leaf toe. Check out this Ben Minkoff backpack. This is actually pretty nice. And this one is $47.50. Oh, this is kind of cute. I think there's some staining on the front though, like bleaching. Yeah, there is. This has been cute. This has been like a good Christmas present. Oh gosh. You guys, so I found like this H bag and I was like, what is this? I looked inside and it's actually a hunter bag. And it's not hunter for Target, it's just like a regular hunter. It's kind of fabulous and it's kind of like Hermes orange. The only thing is that it does have some staining right there. So I don't know. It's $24. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and today was such an awesome day. Ah, we found some really amazing things and I cannot wait to share with you guys what I ended up getting and all the shopping and stuff that I saw today. So don't forget to subscribe um, and so you'll be notified when those videos do go up during the week. But, um, and for what I got in today's vlog. I think I'll show you guys tomorrow because I'm tuckered out uh, and I don't know it's like I think the time change kind of got me like I know it's like an like I don't even know I'm just like lazy today so I'm just gonna call it a night um, and work on my vlogs and then go to sleep because I have a pretty packed week this coming week so I want to just like be able to rest you know um but also I have been getting a lot of comments and messages asking when I'm going to be posting more things in the shop again I don't think that's happening tonight I'm pretty much dead but by the time you guys see this I think I will be posting things in the morning so check out my shop it's Hadrian.com and I should have a couple new things posted up there if anyone is interested and again um, always check out my Instagram too because when I post new things in the shop I always put a little thing in my Instagram stories so you guys can check that out and you'll know when stuff goes up uh, but right now we'll be doing some questions and some thrift shout outs so let's see what we have here uh, we, we have Lavender Watkins. You know I love your name, Lavender. That is beautiful. Plus, I love the color, so that's amazing. Um, hey, Adrian, you look as though you have a wonderful life. I wish I lived near you. We would be good friends. I love your spirit and attitude. Thank you so much, Lavender. You know what? Like, I wish we were neighbors. I love, like, I, and I'm, I'm so lucky to have such awesome neighbors. I've never experienced having such, like, really nice neighbors before, and it's so much fun, especially after our um, Halloween block party. That was just amazing. I cannot, yeah, I cannot. It was so cool meeting so many new people and all in the neighborhood and everyone was so nice and it was just so much fun. And I, I hope this becomes like a tradition that we can do every year because I had a blast. I'm like, I'm thinking of all the other things we can do. Imagine like having a clam bake. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, that would be so much fun. <laughs> um, okay, next uh, thing we have Jan Amaro. Never tired of listening about your lettuce and cabbage dishes. I can't wait to see your house all decorated for Christmas. Thank you so much. I, I feel like all I ever do is talk about plates and especially my cabbage plates and stuff. Those are my favorite. Like you, like, as a thrifter, like, I know a lot of you guys can relate to this, and you have, like, certain things that you love collecting, and, like, every time I find, like, a new lettuce plate, like, it just brings, like, a tear to my eye, a smile to my face, and, like, I don't know what it is. It's just so exciting. Plus, like, when I get, like, new plates, oh my gosh, I don't know what it is. I love, I love plates, and I feel like, um... In our day-to-day -day lives, we people, I feel like, don't really appreciate the things, like, like things like the like the plates. I think plates are so awesome to eat off of, and like I don't know, it's weird because um, especially when I like in the Philippines, and I know like when I like every time I go back or whatever, and I just see like how crazy expensive plates are, and then it's just another cra like it's. Like, I, I don't understand how they're so expensive there. And I, and I know, like, some plates can be very expensive. But I've seen plates there that are not, like, that are... I don't know. Like, it's just crazy. Like, <laughs> and then, I like, how much, like, my family appreciates it when, um, when, like, I send them plates, like, from the thrift store. Like, I always try to find really great plates and send it to them. Because they just, they're so appreciative of it, you know? And it's just, like, small things. I feel like small things in life like that, like... Like, small things, I, 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 I always try to see, like, the happiness and positivity of just, like, a small thing, like a plate or a mug or, you know, like, you just gotta appreciate everything that you have in life, and why not start with something that you literally use every single day, right? Like, yeah, you might use your shoes all the time, but, like, you'll have multiple pairs of shoes or, like, and, and or, like, clothing, like a shirt, or, you know, but, like, literally plates. You use plates so many times a day, right? And and also like paper plates or whatever like are not my favorite. Like food tastes different when you eat off of a proper plate. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm being is that weird? Am I weird for like I don't know. I don't know. Um <laughs> uh Teddy Manham. Hello Teddy. I think this is Teddy's first comment that I've read. Hi, Adrian. Congrats on another awesome haul. I think the yellow and black bird is a chickadee. <gasps> is that a chickadee on the... I actually have it right here. So this is like a chickadee. How cute. I really want to find like uh, some peonies or something and put them in. I think that'd be really pretty to have inside. Uh, Carrie Corbo. OMG, your table looks beautiful. Holy spread. Food for days. So gorgeous. The food on the table was decor in itself. Ah, shout out. Thank you. Another shout out, Carrie. Thank you so much for that compliment. Uh, oh my gosh, I feel like that table was like really sporadic too. I just like did it really quick. I just wanted it to be different. And okay, I, I don't know if this is weird about me, but I feel like <laughs> like like my um my tablescapes have kind of become like a, their whole separate like a whole separate entity and I don't like whenever people come over I want there to be like something different every time so like if like people come oh like over multiple times during the same time and it's like I just want it to be different I don't know it's, it's weird it's I'm weird I don't know I can't do, I can't help it uh, but <laughs> I think I'll call it, oh well you know we didn't do a thrift shout out <gasps> Let's see. Oh my gosh, I hear the kids talking outside. <laughs> um, oh, I think, oh my gosh, so also the microdermabrasion thing was amazing. The last time I had a microdermabrasion thing was like when I went to the Philippines a few years ago. And, I don't know, it's just something about it. It just, like, makes your skin feel so nice. Like, obviously, like, it, like, resurfaces your skin, removes all the dead skin cells and impurities, da 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 da, -da. Um, I don't know, my skin feel like, my head, like, my face feels lighter. It's like when you get a haircut, <laughs> it just, like, scraped all the dead skin cells off my face, and I feel amazing. <laughs> oh, Nanny Pat says, I love how Kate often has his head in a book. So nice to see these days. 
yes okay yeah Cade has just gotten really into reading recently and I love it because that's how I was when I was little I always had a book with me when we go on vacation like we loved when we were younger we would always go on um like road trips and I would literally have like five or six books with me and that's like all I cared about was like my books and I would just read them in the car oh, those are the good old days now I'm usually driving during the road trip so I can't actually um read anymore but it's totally okay and then here we have caffeine addict um uh, your goodwills have awesome stuff went thrifting yesterday at all the goodwills 50 percent off sales little road trip i found the most awesome smoky glass tray with silver handles i put it on my awesome vintage bamboo beverage cart i scored for 12.50 found out on first dibs they resell for almost eight thousand dollars that is crazy um for a brass and glass a vintage bamboo cart. Been hunting for one for over four years. Finally, it happened now. Don't you love it when you've been, like, searching for something for so long and it just, like, pops up? It's the best feeling. It's like the thrift gods are smiling upon you and just, like, it's just awesome. Um, my house feels... Oh, now your house feels complete. Right? When you find, like, the perfect piece that you've been searching for for so long. Um, I have brass and glass end tables and shelves. I live in the past. I only look for Made in USA because it's made well. Totally agreed with the Made in USA stuff from like back in the day is amazing and such a great quality. Uh, but yes, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out this morning's thrifting video. And the new thrifting video goes up tomorrow bright and early at 7. And the new vlog up at 2. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all later. Bye. Good morning. Greetings and salutations. YouTube it's here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Today's Saturday. We have some family coming over and the kids are all waiting patiently for them. Our table is looking gorgeous. Mom's cooking over there. Zach's trying to talk to Alexa. And we're also out here cooking. So 